listening. This holiday season, a common respiratory virus is seeing high numbers of positive cases here in South Carolina. Respiratory syncytial virus infection, or more commonly known as RSV, can be serious in infants and older adults, sometimes requiring hospitalization, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Live 5's Emily Johnson talked with one doctor at MUSC and breaks down the current numbers here in our state. RSV infections cause about 2 million doctor visits, 80,000 hospitalizations, and around 300 deaths for children under the age of 5 each year, according to the CDC. With the numbers looking higher than usual in South Carolina this year, doctors are pushing for more ways that you can keep yourself and your loved ones safe this year. According to the CDC, positive cases in South Carolina as of November 18th were over 12% positive compared to over 2% positive this same time last year and almost 4% in 2021. MUSC Associate Professor of Pediatric Critical Care Whitney Marvin says to most people RSV can feel like the common cold but can be very dangerous to infants with any underlying medical problems. Marvin says for most people, RSV will pass with time, but it's not uncommon for infants to end up needing to be in the hospital to help with their breathing. I mean, the last two years, we've had really bad RSV seasons, and I, it's really overwhelming outpatient pediatricians, the emergency department, and just beds in the hospital become incredibly tight with how many patients we've had, unfortunately, had to be admitted with RSV. Marvin says preventing RSV is similar to a common cold by continuing to wash your hands and staying away from people if you're sick. People with babies especially need to be cautious about how many people they're around. In Charleston, Emily Johnson, Life of News.